What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm just simply helping out a client of mine. Shout out to Alicia, a top producing realtor in Tampa Bay, Florida. Just crushing it. Her and her husband building a team and just fired up. Fired up about social media. Fired up about social media marketing. Fired up about Facebook advertising and really targeting her local area. You guys, I, I, I've been teaching this to realtors for the past five, going on six years now. Just how do we how do we build a brand in our local audience, right? Like as we really scale online, as we really scale on social media, the reason why I'm against just organic is, is really because those that are trying to build a local brand, as we scale this friend count up, as she goes from 829 to 1800 friends to 2800 friends to 38 to 4800 friends, as we scale up this friend count, you guys, on any of these platforms, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, it doesn't matter. Pick your platform. As we scale up that friend count, 99% of those people won't live in your local area. So if you're a local realtor, if you're a local uh, dry cleaner, a local yoga studio, a local freaking barber shop, anything, chances are that you're out here trying to build something online and trying to build a brand and audience on social media. But I'm just here to tell you, as you scale that friend count up, you guys, no one lives in the area. So, so for the past few years, I've just really been my, my passion, my drive, my dedication, just my overall, um, what I teach is just how do we target our local area? And that's with a simple ad. So whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, I always tell people, learn how to run an ad on that platform. Um, because if you're a local business owner, you can target your local area and build a crazy brand. And so with Alicia, that's where we're at. I'm coaching her. I'm taking her through through really just by the hand and taking her step by step on what it takes to do all that, right? To to re really target our local area through simple Facebook advertising. What type of link should we be uh, putting out there? What kind of link should we be promoting, right? What type of website? What type of web page, right? And so. Here, I'm going to kind of show you just the, the back end of everything and, and 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 what you want to start tracking, right? As you start sharing your business, you guys. So in this case, it's real estate. If you're a real estate agent, rage, agent and you're out there sharing real estate content, right? Buyer information, seller information, you're giving market updates. If that's you and you're really trying to crack the code over here, I'm telling you, this is how simple it is. So with Alicia, what I'm teaching her is how is, is how to run Facebook ads for sure, right? That's that's one. There's two skills that I teach real estate agents. So if, if this is you, reach out to me. I'd love to help you. Two, two skills that I truly believe in. And again, even if you're not a realtor, this applies to you. If you're a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're trying to build something online, if you're trying to build something offline, if you're starting off small and, and growing into medium, th these are the two basic skills. Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Facebook, Instagram ads, same damn thing, right? Facebook ads it, or, or pick whatever platform, but I've been I've been really grinding and, and, and trying to master Facebook ads for the past six years, right? So, so this is where I truly believe a lot of your demographics are at. So in, in this case with Alicia, uh, a, a, a real estate agent, her demographics are homeowners, right? So so um, that demographic, that age group, for sure here on Facebook. So just know your clientele, right? Know your customer base, know know your avatar, and know what platform they are, they're, they're on. And, and if they're on a different platform, run an ad. That's skill number one, you guys. Run an ad so you could target that audience by tonight. Number two is landing pages. So links, as you start to put out links, as you share your business, and as you start to promote different links, different websites, many, many real estate agents, they'll they'll promote a link to the MLS, right? They have a listing, they have an open house coming up, they'll share the link on LinkedIn, they'll share the link on Facebook, and they'll share the link to the MLS. Where it's like, dude, there's no tracking going on, there's no lead being able to be captured, Right or they're or or they're sharing their link to their Keller Williams website, their Coldwell you know Realty website, their freaking Realty One website, right? The fancy website that your broker gives you that every agent in your company has the same damn website. Like what most are doing are sharing these types of sites. Um, what you want to do, you guys, is go out there and 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 find software. There's many different softwares out there. Landing pages most run about a hundred bucks a month, but but a landing page is what is what I truly believe. And this is this is by me having five thousand friends on Facebook, my personal profile, and every single one of a, every single one of them is an agent. That's where this is really coming from. Is it just seeing what the market is doing, clicking on different listings, clicking on different open houses, seeing where people are taking me. Right, they're sharing real estate content. Is there anything anything to click on? Is she giving me any kind of any, any information? You know, other than the post. Right, I started seeing this by the thousands, you guys, and that's when I started teaching this stuff. And 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 just at the end of the day, to boil it all down. 
it's two things. It's 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 running a targeted ad, and then and then number two, the link taking people to a lead capture page where you can capture a lead, right? God knows we're all putting out content. We're all trying to build an audience. We're all trying to find them people that resonate with us to obviously do business, right? You ain't here for your health. You're over here posting real estate stuff. You're over here posting stuff about any other business because that's what you do, right? So it so the second skill that I teach you guys is 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 basic landing pages. If you're a real estate agent again, um, this applies to anything, but but as I go out there and promote a listing and and I and I provide a link no, again, I'm not sending people to the MLS. I'm not sending people to my fancy website. I'm going to be sending them to a simple landing page, very similar to this, right? Your basic squeeze page, your basic lead capture page. This is when I have a listing, right? If I have an open house, then I'd be sending them to a basic page like this, right? Open house, few bullet points, one button, headshot, logo, basic stuff, you guys, reviews, one single button, open house, right? In this case with Alicia, what I'm helping her do is put together a seller guide, right? To go out there and educate homeowners, right? I always tell people to find your avatar. Who is your avatar? And in the, in the real estate space, is that avatar the buyer or is that avatar the seller? Who is your avatar, right? That's what you want to know. And so with Alicia, she's building a huge team out there in Tampa Bay. Her whole thing is going after listings, right? She wants to feed her her team leads and leads and leads of people that are that are interested in selling, right? She's out there looking for people that want to sell their property. So in this case, as she now continues to promote on social media, we're not going to just rely on just organic post. What I'm teaching her now is Facebook ads, target, 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 take over Tampa Bay, uh, right? And 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 that and that's our whole our whole strategy. But the bait, the bait that she's using, right? She's fishing. The bait that she has at the end of her at the end of her line is a seller guide. So as she goes out there and posts content, just like all of you guys, right? Posting content, posting content, real estate related content. It's like, dude, now she has bait. Now she has something where people can click on, go to her simple page and download a copy. And in this case, it's a simple seller guide, a PDF educating homeowners on what it takes to sell. Right. And that's what you guys want to do. You guys, if you're in the real estate space, pick one. Now, now God knows you can help anyone and everyone with real estate related needs and wants, right? You can, you're the jack of all trades. You could do it all in, in real estate. But when it comes to marketing, you want to narrow in your target. You want to narrow in your niche. You want to, you want to have an avatar. Like who the heck is your avatar? The 5,000 friends that I have on my personal profile, Facebook page, 100% of them, all 5,000, come on my personal profile. There's 5,000. Look at all of them. They're public. That's my exact avatar, right? So as I put out content, it's resonating to my exact avatar. So what you want to be doing when it comes to, to, to post, pick one. Who's your avatar? Is it the buyer or is it the seller, right? So in this case now with Alicia, it's the seller. It's the seller. And now what we want to do is we want to continue to put out content on social media, but now we want to drive all the attention to our seller guide. Click here to download your free seller guide. As they click and as they opt in, they land on the second page, right? Now, this is the thing about, about these landing pages and, 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 and having the ability to, to create these basic pages is that no longer am I sharing the MLS link. I'm sharing my link. No longer am I sharing my 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 alicia.exprealty.com, my david at or my david.kw.com, right? I'm not sharing that link anymore. I'm not sharing that website. That's my domain, or in this case, it's Alicia, but you guys know what I'm saying. That 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 that's her domain. And and now the ability that we have is to now set up tracking. And, and this is as simple as it is through Facebook. So I'm gonna show you Facebook tracking. I'm going to show you Facebook custom audiences. And this is what you want to do. This is how you build a brand. This is how you build an omnipresent brand. And this is how you retarget people that are engaging with your previous stuff, whether that's a video you posted, whether it's an image you posted, whether it was an ad you ran. When people click, you want to be able to track it, right? And so, and so that's what this is all about, you guys. So in this case, she's sharing the heck and we're going to be running ads. And again, you could share this because again, all you guys are going to continue to post organic no matter what I'm saying over here. I'm saying forget about organic, run Facebook ads, and that's it. But God knows you guys are all going to continue to pro post organically on all these damn platforms. At least share at least share something like this, you guys. If you're a real estate, if you're in any other business, 
what can you give for free? A free PDF, a free training, a free video, a free download. You know, what can you give for free in exchange for someone's information? That's what this is all about. It's an exchange for someone's information. We're going to give them something of value up front in the form of a free PDF, right? A seller guide. This is targeting homeowners in Tampa Bay, right? So, so you can go organic and just post this wherever the hell you want, but it's really for ads, you guys. If you're a local business owner, target your local area, right? And, and, and in this case with real estate, it doesn't get any easier than this. It's a simple seller guide, a simple buyer guide, right? And so again, this is hers, a quick little bio to the left, you know, her, her, her headshot right there, button right there. That's it, you guys. Very, very different than your traditional website, right? Very, very different. So, so, and, and so simple at the same time. So here's what, what I want to do. And that's why I wanted to cut this video for you is that, the reason why when you guys click on stuff online, when you're buying stuff online, when you're about to buy something online, when you're just browsing online, and then you leave that website, go to social media, and you see an ad from that company. You go to Facebook, you go to Instagram, you go to any platform, really, because all, all platforms are pretty much the same. Um, but Facebook dominates still with the tracking ability, right? The links being able to track. So as as you watch video on, on social media, as you click on different websites on the internet, if, if there's tracking going on, so if that company, for example, advertises in any way, shape, or form online, there's basic tracking in place. And, and that's why when people land here, what we're going to be able to do is retarget them. So as people see her her post, right, as let's just say, for example, she, she goes out there and she starts to put out more video, right? Here's her video right here. Shout out to Alicia. She's freaking crushing it. And we're about to, this, this is actually an ad that we're about to be running. It's not, she just posted it. She just posted it. And now we'll, now we'll be running this one as, as the first, as the first ad. But again, what is she doing that, that most aren't, she's doing the same thing. She's educating in this video. She's educating people on what it takes to sell. Right. Um, and then her, and then, and then, so what she's doing that's different than than the ninety nine percent of you guys that are watching this is the fact that number one, she's now going to be running as a Facebook ad targeting Tampa Bay and Tampa Bay only. So now her message is is very clear, going to a very specific group of people, Tampa Bay homeowners, right? That's number one that she got over most 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 of you guys watching this. And then number two, she has a call to action. She has a call to action. So at the end of her video of her giving a tip on, on some strategy on selling a home, right, right? Just educating people. That's all this is about. It's not pitch, pitch, pitch. It's educate, educate, educate with a call to action. So at the end of the video, she's saying something like, hey, guys, and by the way, go ahead and click the button. It will take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. That's it, you guys. So again, Strictly talking to the real estate space, you guys are agents, you guys are brokers, you're trying, to, you're trying to build something on social media. This is all that we're missing is a call to action. Put together a buyer guide, put together a seller guide, and only share that link from this point on. Only share that link from this point on, right? When you're, when you're talking real estate, obviously, when you're talking real estate, start talking to one person and, 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 and give them some type of, of, of free download. And, and again, in your business, it doesn't get any easier than a freaking seller guide or a buyer guide, right? So, so here's what I want to do. Here's what's happening. As people, once this is an ad, right, as, as thousands of people start to see it, we're going to have people clicking, coming to this page, and for whatever reason, whatever legitimate reason, they don't opt in, right? Whatever, whatever reason, they don't opt in, right? It happens. It's a bounce rate. It happens in every business. You're going to have people that come here that don't opt in for whatever reason. But the fact that they came here, right, the fact that they landed here, that, that's a form of interest. That's a form of interest. They saw my ad, they clicked, they came here. There was something there, right? They didn't fill it out for what they didn't opt in for whatever reason. They could have been driving. They could have been cooking. The freaking crazy kids could have been crying in the background. So many, many, so many legitimate reasons why someone just didn't opt in at that time. No big deal, right? But because they landed here, you guys, because they landed here, number one, I have my Facebook pixel on the page. So you guys get all this stuff for free within Facebook. So if you don't know how to install a Facebook pixel, I have, I have links in the in the videos in the description. Install your Facebook Pixel, but I'm over here assuming that you already know how to do that, and 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 we're already past that step. That let's call that step one. Install the Pixel, and then once we do that, step two, we're going to create these audiences. So people that land here but don't opt in, that's going to be this audience, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So so no matter what business you're in, you guys, we have a basic landing page, we have a basic thank you page. When they opt in, they land here, right? And then when they schedule a call, they land here. So if you notice, the links that we're sharing is one link, AliciaChapmanRealtor.info 
Alicia Chapman Realtor.info, Alicia Chapman Realtor.info. When she has a listing, it's going to be Alicia Chapman Realtor.info forward slash listing, right? This next page will be open house. This next one will be will be 777 um, Stove Ave open house, right? The next the next page that we create around this is going to be 125 Division Street, right? That's going to be a listing, right? So it's like from this point on, you guys, this link is your fingerprint. From this point on, you want to start tracking those that are landing on this link. Okay, you guys? So... This is how we do it. Let's go back to um, let's go back. This was sell it fast, right? Sell sell it fast. Was that what it was? Okay, so sell it fast. Okay, so anyone again, anyone that lands here, I'm gonna get this link, and you can only do this when this is your link. That's why this is so freaking important. I couldn't do this if this was david.exprealty.com. Yes, it's my link, but that's technically not my link, right? So that's why I'm saying all of these links that you guys are sharing. They're not your link. It might be your Coldwell website, your KW website, but it's not your link. You didn't purchase that domain, right? So, so in this case, when it comes to real proper tracking, that's a purchase domain. That's Alicia's domain, right? That's not freaking EXPs or anyone like that. That, that That's her domain, right? So now we have the ability to, to do the tracking, right? So here's what we're going to do. That's the link right there. We don't need the WW. We don't need the HTTPS. We just need the link the, or the domain. So we're going to copy that. And then I'm going to bring that over here to her ads, actually, well, her business manager, but right here, we're in audiences. So three lines, audiences, right here, we're in the audiences. So again, as you click on stuff, you guys, on the internet, and, and again, you might purchase or you might just want to try to opt in, but you don't, and then you leave that website and you see an ad from them. That's all this is. That's this right here, custom audiences. It's Facebook custom audiences, Instagram custom audiences, YouTube audiences, TikTok audiences, LinkedIn, they're all the same damn thing. But this is this is Facebook's uh, back end of, of custom audiences. So here we could track all those. So as you're in the news feed, like look, as you're as you're just scrolling through the news feed and just kind of seeing what your friends are up to and seeing what everyone's posting, and then all of a sudden you come across a sponsored post. Let's see if I can find a sponsored post. Now that's an image. That's an image, but if that was a video, let's see if I could see a video. Um Sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. That's another image. Um, let's just see if I can see a random video. Um, and I'll, I could give you the same example on, on a random video. Let's say, let's say, let's say. Let, you know what? Let's just, actually, let's, let's stop right here. Let's say, for example, perfect. Let me, okay. Let's say, for example, this is an ad. Okay, real estate agent, she's giving me a seller tip. This is an ad. This is five minutes and 54 seconds. Let's say this is an ad. 14 seconds, 15 seconds, 16 seconds, 17 seconds. When you watch three seconds of a video and it was a, and it was a Facebook ad, there's audiences, right? So these are two audiences that I already set up for her. Those are based on the video. Those are based on the video. So whether it's an Instagram video or a Facebook video, I can literally track those who watch a percentage of it. Now, Facebook's not giving me their name and email. No, because they're not a lead, but Facebook is tracking it on the on the technical side, right? They know IP addresses. They're they're the the they're, they're tracking it in all in all kinds of freaking ways and shapes and forms. Um, so so it's the data that I'm getting. I'm the I'm getting the hash data. I don't know who that person is, right? It's not, nothing like that. So there's no crazy privacy laws that are being broken at all. Um, Facebook is just gathering the data on the back end, hashed data. That's that I'm able to put into into these categories. That's what this is, you guys. So as I'm on Facebook and I see that ad, right? Let's say I'm playing it. And, and, and let's say she created a custom audience of those who watched it for 22 seconds, right? Those that watch this video for 23 seconds, she has in this audience. Now what she's going to be able to do is turn around, target that audience, and show me the next ad. She'll be able to run her third ad, target these two audiences, and, and, and run that third ad. She'll be able to run her fourth ad and retarget those who watched ad one, two, and three, right? That's just on the video side. In, in the real estate, well, in most businesses, but especially in real estate, what I teach, I teach mainly custom audiences. So we're going to be, again, three lines, audiences, and then we're going to come to the blue, the blue button. We're going to go custom audiences. I primarily teach website and video. 
that's really it. You have all these other sources, all these other ways you can create custom audiences for sure. But but especially if you're a local business owner, I don't recommend any of these other ones unless you have a customer list. If you have a customer list of thousands of people on a, on a list, on an email list or on, or, on a, or on an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file, then, then you can do customer lists. But most of you guys that probably don't have a huge list like that. Um, so website, video, and then lead form. If you're running lead form ads, not to a website, right? We're running ads to a website. We're running ads to this website, to this landing page, right? So, so we want we want custom audiences around website. But but if you're not driving it to a website, then then you may be still running ads to capture leads, but you may be using a lead form, and that's when you would create a custom audience for lead form, right? But but again, website video. That's really it, man. If you could just put out video and then you create custom audiences of those who watch a percentage of your video and then you retarget them, retarget them, retarget them. You retarget them from this point on until they opt in or until they buy your stuff, whatever the heck you're doing, lead or sell, whatever, like until they opt in. And this is how you do it. So again, website, we're going to go website with this example, website. And let me, um, let me get out of this one. Cause this is actually not a new pixel we want to set up. Let me get out of this account. Blue button, custom audiences, website next. This is where we're at, you guys. So again, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to create, I'm gonna show you how to create three, yeah, three different audiences. We're gonna do three different audiences. We're gonna do those that land on the landing page but never opt in. That's gonna be audience number one. Audience number two is gonna be those who actually opted in. And then audience number three is gonna be those who actually scheduled a call, right? Three main, main audiences, you guys. These are the most popular audiences. This is what every single one of you should be doing on the back end of your social media marketing. you got to track these basic audiences, okay? Because, again, the, the whole purpose of this, you guys, is so you can target the most relevant people. So when, when people land on certain pages within your funnel, within your system, you got to be able to include or exclude them from, from, future, from future ads, right? Those that landed on my landing page and never opted in, I want to retarget them. Those who actually opted in and landed over here on this specific link, I want to start excluding, right? So as I continue to run ads for my seller guide, for example, I don't want to keep showing that ad to people who've already opted in. And how do we know who opted in? It's the people who landed on this link, right? And then another audience, I don't want to keep showing my seller guide ads to people who actually scheduled a call with me. And how do we know that? Because those are people who landed on this specific link. We're going to take this link and set, set it up as an audience in Facebook as well. So again, when we continue to run ads on our seller guide or on our buyer guide, whatever, we can then exclude this audience. These are people who have literally already scheduled a call. Why do I want to keep showing them the same damn ad, right? So so it's this basic, you guys. We, we're going to take the links um, and we're going to set them up this way. So, so here, events. We're going to go specific. People who visited specific pages in the past, we'll call it 45 days, 45 days. And then and then all I'm going to do up here is get the link. So I'm going to take this link. I don't need the www. I don't need the HTTPS. I just need the domain. I'm going to take that. I'm going to paste it in right there. Now, follow me on this one, okay? Follow me on this one because it's going to be a very specific audience. These are people who have landed on the landing page but never exclude people specific max this one out at 180 they never landed on the next page they never landed on what we call the thank you page let me make sure i get just the domain they never landed on the thank you page right so therefore they never opted in so i'm going to paste that link right there and then they never scheduled a call either right they never scheduled a call either. Because remember, if they did, then they wouldn't be in this audience, right? So that is that. Very, very specific, you guys. This is going to be, and I'm going to name it, audience name. This is going to be um, seller guide, seller guide, pay, seller guide page visitors only. They've only landed on that page. Create audience. That's audience number one, you guys. Done. Audience number two, we're going to come back and we're going to hit the blue button. Audience number two, custom audience, website, next, website visitors. We're going to go specific, and this we're going to max this one out, 180. This is going to be an audience of those who actually opted in, right? Who actually opted in. So we're going to copy that link, 
We're going to paste it in there. Those people actually opted in. Okay, so now we're going to we're going to call this one and we're going to exclude. We're going to exclude. We're going to exclude. We're going to exclude those who who scheduled a call. So if you've opted in and you scheduled a call, th th you're not in this audience. This is just for those who have just opted in. They haven't scheduled a call. So we're going to go specific. We're going to go 180 and we're going to paste in that link, right? That's the call confirm link. So again, back to the top. 180, we want we want this. This is going to be our lead audience, right? Those who have actually landed on our thank you page that landed on the on the on the second page. And that's 180. We're going to keep those people in there. Or it's going to be it's going to be those that are in there are, are people who have landed on that page in the past 180 days. Okay. So they they opted in, they downloaded the seller guide, they opted in, but they never scheduled a call, right? They never, they never landed on this page. So we're going to exclude those people. So we're going to we're going to call this audience name. This is um seller guide leads. Seller guide leads only. Seller guide leads only. They never scheduled a call. Seller guide leads only. So again, that could be an audience that I that I exclude from seeing future ads, right? It could either, it could even be an audience that I that I include. Imagine doing a video, imagine doing an ad and 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 this ad is going to be targeting this this audience. Seller guide leads. Hey guys, this is David. I noticed you downloaded my seller guide a couple weeks ago, but for whatever reason, you haven't scheduled a call. Let me tell you what we go over on our strategy calls and why you're going to want to book a call with me now. That is a very specific video ad, a very specific Facebook ad, Instagram ad, TikTok ad, LinkedIn ad, freaking Pinterest ad, freaking YouTube ad, whatever, dude. It's a freaking simple message video ad going to the most specific relevant audience ever. People that have downloaded my seller guide but haven't scheduled a call. Now I can run an ad specifically to that audience and resonate the best, right? These are basic segmentations, you guys. These are what Facebook calls custom audiences. And this is what it's all about. This is why you, you guys are seeing ads. That's why you're being retargeted from stuff you're clicking on online, videos that you're watching. You got people that are retargeting you. That's all this is, man. And so again, as you really build your brand on social media, Get the back end in order. Get the back end in order. And if you need help with any of this stuff, sh reach out to me, man. Shout out to my client, Alicia. She's all, David, this stuff is super important. I'm building a team. I need leads coming in. I need to dominate Tampa Bay. I need to start targeting my, my posts rather than just posting all over social media. And I need you to help me do it all. And I'm like, Alicia, I'm freaking game. Let's do it. So Facebook ads, landing pages, you guys, basic landing pages for your listings, your open houses, your seller guides. That's what I want to teach you. So, so let me, let me, let me get this next, next audience. We got, we got seller guide page visitors only. We got seller guide leads only. And then our last audience is going to be website again. And we're going to go, we're going to go all website visitors. We're going to go specific. And this is going to be, we're going to max this out as well at 180. And this is going to be an audience of those who actually scheduled a call, right? They've landed on this page, bottom line, right? And that's going to be right there. This is audience is going to be called um, audience name. I don't need to exclude anybody. That's fine. Audience name um, is going to be is going to be um, scheduled appointments. Scheduled appointments. Scheduled appointments. Create audience, and that's it, you guys. So now, as I go in, done. As I go in, I got my, I got, I got, I got the start of my audiences, right? That's what we wanted to do here with Alicia is just get her, 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 her basic audiences in place: the page visitors, the lead page, the appointment page. So now, as we go in and run our future ads, now those audiences are just, they're just, they, they, I just set them up, right? So there's not freaking people in them. We haven't ran these ads yet, but as we run ads, people are going to be filling up these buckets, and and then as we go in and 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 continue to run ads, well, now let me let me show you, um. In fact, let me let me show you how to run, let me show you how to run the ad. As we click on that green button, you guys, and now let's say we're going for leads, right? We're going for leads. What we can do now is as we go through this this beginning part, housing, if you're in the real estate space, credit, employment, social, whatever, if you're in any of those other ones, just choose your category and then go next. It's on the second step, which is what we call the ad set level, the second step. Let's say I'm going website, right? Driving it to a landing page, driving it to a website. And then down here, <laughs> you'll see budget, start date, custom audiences. This is where we want to be. So now as I click inside here, now here are all my audiences. 
So you can see here that there's no one in these audiences just yet. There's a few people in these bottom these bottom video ones, um, but but these are three new ones where no one's in those audiences yet. But as we move forward, you guys, as we promote on social media, as we just post organically, whatever, I'm just saying, fill your buckets. Fill your buckets so you can you can start including and excluding the proper audiences. That way your message resonates with your with, with the most relevant people and, and you really see an ROI. So that's what I wanted to show you today, you guys, is we're simply driving traffic to to a seller guide and and tracking those that that visit these pages. So we could just stay in front of them, stay omnipresent and just crush it in a local area so if you guys are new to my channel subscribe reach out if you need help with any of this stuff um, and drop me a comment below let me know what type of business you're building and let me know how i can bring value to what you're doing online all right guys over and out i'll see you on the next video peace